Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yoshie Takao. I'm a fourth grade student of undergraduate. Today, I will talk about the correlation between serum vitamin A level and pupil color of beef cattle. As some of the contents is same with Hansan, but please listen. First, uh, let me introduce about introduce the background of my study. Uh, in the world, especially Japanese people are particular about food quality and safety. And of course, there is a big demand for high quality beef. Look at that picture. Both of them are Japanese black cattle's beef. You can notice that right beef has much more fat deposit position. This white position, uh, this is called marbling. And Japanese people likes high marbling scored beef. So uh, we can say that high marbling score means high quality beef. And farmers usually try to make effort to produce such a beef. Then what should we do to make high quality beef, high marbling scored beef? The best way is to control vitamin A level like that. Look at the graph. This graph shows the ideal vitamin A level shift. And different fatting phase means different fatting level. Control vitamin A like that, we can produce high marbling scored beef. But in order to do that, we have to monitor serum vitamin A level constantly. <coughs> so far, uh, farmers conduct broad tests for measuring, but uh, that way is not good because that is very stressful for cattle and high cost and time consuming. So another measuring method is desirable. And recently, some researcher report the relationship between vitamin A and eye ground color. Look at the picture. This is a picture of retina, uh, eye ground, part of eye ground. Retina is this part, this red part. And uh, we can notice that the retina of low vitamin A level cattle has something wrong. So uh, this report, this report says, if vitamin A level becomes lower, blue part of retina becomes red or yellow. But uh, retina is eye ground, so that part is difficult to take image. On the other hand, pupil area is very easy to take image, and there is a hypothesis that pupil color is influenced by retina color. So we start to take and use pupil color image. The objective of this study is that developing more practical method of serum vitamin A level measurement by, use, by analyzing pupil color image of cattle. And we want to, we want to uh, create new vitamin A measurement system. From now, I will uh, explain about test cattle, uh, explain about experiment. First, test cattle. Um, for this study, we used Japanese black cattle in early fatting phase. And uh, we started this experiment with 24 head of cattle. <coughs> From March, another 18 cattle were added, so the total number of cattle is 42 now. And uh, this is a device we use for experiment. Main component is two CCD camera. And, uh, by using this camera, we can take the two types of image. One is color image, and another is NIR image. And uh, we, <laughs> we attach the PL filter, polarizing filter, uh, in order to weaken specular reflection. Here is the method of experiment. Before starting to taking image, First, we cover the cattle's eye with black rows to delay the pupil. It takes more than 120 seconds. And after that, 
we put NIR LEDs, LEDs on and set camera to pupil position. And after that, uh, put white LEDs on and start to input images. It takes uh, just three seconds. And uh, after that, we got color image and uh, NIR image at the same time. And by using that, that data, we analyze the data. And here is the method of uh, analysis. Uh, for analysis, we used programming. This picture is the raw data. And uh, from this data, binarize image using R, B, Q, and IR component. And after that, reduce noise and detect halation part. And ROI, uh, region of interest, is determined. And uh, about, about ROI, we got mean RGB values. And by using, by, uh, by using mean RGB values, we calculate chromatic chromaticity values and HSI values. Here is the uh, formula of chromaticity values. We got small r, small g, small b. And uh, about red, green, blue, and HSI value, we made a graph. So from now, I will show you the result of my study. These are the scatter diagram of the red component and blue component. And uh, about red, uh, red has a negative correlation in 38 cattle. On the other, on the other hand, blue, blue has positive correlation uh, in 35 cattle. So there are correlations between red, blue component, and vitamin A level. However, there is a problem. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the same color level indicates various vitamin A level. So we cannot estimate the vitamin A from only this data. So I start to make time series data uh, about each cattle. Uh, this is a graph of time series data about red component. Uh, X-axis is the experiment months, and uh, left y-axis is vitamin A, and right y-axis means uh, red component level. And I picked up, I picked up uh, only four cattle, but. Uh, uh, I picked up only four cattle, and uh, there is a some there is a some individual difference, but almost all cattle has the tendency that if vitamin A becomes lower, the <coughs> red component becomes higher. So we can say that red component oppositely changed with vitamin A. And next, these are the time series data about blue component. And uh, this time, I also picked up only four cattle. Uh, but uh, almost all cattle has a tendency that if vitamin A becomes lower, the blue component also becomes lower. So this means blue component similarly changed with vitamin A. And uh, this is a previous result last year. Uh, by using middle fatting phase cattle, uh, we uh, by using middle fatting phase cattle, same experiment was conducted. Uh, these are the data of at that time, and uh, this time also red component oppositely changed and blue component similarly changed. So uh, same tendency was found in 80 cattle at least also last year.
And uh, let's go back to this year's uh, result. Uh, this is a scatter diagram of hue and intensity. And uh, if, uh, yes, x-axis is vitamin A, and y-axis is H and I. And though, uh, H, about H, H has a positive correlation in 34 cattle, and uh, intensity, has a intensity has a negative correlation in 31 cattle. Ah, sorry. Uh, hue has a positive correlation in 34 cattle, and uh, intensity has a negative correlation in 31 cattle. And uh, also, uh, R squared value of H and I are higher than that of red and blue components. So I think uh, considering about the uh, H, uh, hue, and the intensity is also effective in uh, estimating the vitamin A level. So here is a conclusion. If vitamin A becomes lower, red becomes higher, and blue becomes lower. And so there is uh, some correlation. And in addition, uh, hue and I also have uh, correlations with vitamin A. So next time, I will try to use hue and intensity values for measuring. And do you believe the picture I showed you at the background? These are the picture of retina, eye ground, re eye ground color. And uh, at that time, the report says the raw vitamin A, uh, if vitamin A becomes lower, the blue part of retina becomes uh, changed to red or yellow. And our conclusion is correspond to that report. So I, I think that our hypothesis that pupil color is influenced by retina color is maybe right. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. But uh, after that, I ah, consider okay. <laughs> that's not a good talk. Maybe. Yes, yes. I try to include that. Mm. Ah, yes. 
here. Yes. Yeah, ah, oh, okay. This is up. Oh, thank you. If if you do, but uh, yeah, you can do upright just a bit. Just a bit. Just normal. Ah, here, here. Just upright. This one. Yeah. Oh. If you can. Okay. okay. I can. I can. I want to accomplish mm, <coughs> yes mm, both of them <laughs> both of them it's just it's one just one it, it, the, the interpretation of the data is totally different mm. uh, the reason why I then go back to the results section I want to tell you what, 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 uh, how we look at the results yep right here here uh, go back this, wait, this one you show a this plot for example the first one so the vitamin A concentration from 30 all the way to 80. Mm -hmm. It's a very broad range. Yes, yes. Very yes. difficult to look at data that broad range. However, you, you say, I would like to determine if my method can alert a mm -hmm. farmer when the purple color reaches a certain stage, yeah. the vitamin A is below 30. Then you analyze the data only from 35 uh, on down. But uh, there's a problem. Uh, there's a few cattle under the 40. So, so very important because in your study right now, mm -hmm. very few cattle, only one cattle have vitamin A uh -huh. below 30, four of them above 30. So that means is that your experiment with your cattle really is not good for you to detect <laughs> the whole range. Yes. <laughs> Do you so understand? Uh, very important. That means yes. is that your you don't really have enough animal yes. mm -hmm. with the vitamin A below the level that I should be concerned with. Mm -hmm. So the data is very inconclu inconclusive. Uh -huh. Because you only have one animal have uh, vitamin A at 30. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Only yes. one data point. The other data point doesn't mean any much to me. Mm -hmm. mm, yes, yes. So. So what should we do? What should we do? What's <laughs> important your objective? Yeah. Objective. It's really important to tell people what my objective. Am I this de development method to able to look at vitamin A concentration at the right range, mm. or if, am I going to develop a method to alert the farmer when vitamin A is low? Ah. The experimental design is very different. Ah the yes yes. Just the borderline, or just more precise? You mean that? When it it's completely different method. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Mm, okay. We, I don't think we need a 
method to look at vitamin A in a wide range, mm. but I think farmers mm. need a method to alert them when the when the cattle have vitamin mm. A below 30. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. So what you do is, in that case, you, you, you focus on the vitamin A in cattle 30 and 40, mm. because that is narrow near the, and then you calculate your correlation mm. at that narrow range. Oh, okay, i try next. Because that, at that range, you might have good data. <laughs> If you look at the force spectrum, you might have not have good data. Mm. Yes, yes. So what your your technique is a is a is a is the alerting technique. That mm. means that when the farmer look at this, he has cow cow fourteen. Mm. You need to do something about. I I see I see. That's a very important point. Mm. Thank you. A very moral observation. Uh, for example, this slide, the number three four seven the view is not very clear. Uh, I have to. sometimes different, nine months, 10 months, 11 months. So I choose the nine months, I select one, and the 10 months, I select one, like that. So you didn't, it wasn't truly random, you just selected. Uh, a, when, when people say, use the word random, it has a special, specific meaning. Uh, okay. Also, this slide here, uh, results. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, so you're not the only one who's done that. Materials, it's always plural. Oh, okay, thank Test you. Test animals, plural. Test animals. Cattle is no, never plural. Discussion is not plural. Thank you. 
very much. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to break here.